Hello everyone and welcome to another week in health with Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor. Two really interesting articles I want to talk to you about this week. One of them happened to come from the Food Navigator. Genetically engineered salmon, a step closer to commercialization as environment Canada says Aqua Bounties, Aqua Advantage Salmon, wait to hear this title, are not harmful to the environment or human health. Wow, makes me think about the whole trans fat issue from years ago. Another one came from, this is not as nice, from the New York Daily News. Utah mom says healthy 19 year old son died from a flu shot. That one really got my attention and actually someone sent me this article just to let everybody know how serious the flu shots are. Um, the flu shot, really nobody should have a flu shot ever. People don't have to get the flu. You make choices of your immune system, how it gets impacted. But getting back to this young man, he was admitted to the hospital one week after he fell ill. Eventually his brain swelled to the point that it crushed his brain stem. The article went on and said that he was pleading for the doctors to help him but he slipped into a coma a month ago and they disconnected the life support mechanism. My condolences for the mom. The flu is a virus. What I have learned from my experience and I've been practicing for over 35 years, the immune system becomes weak because of stress. Actually number one is sugar. Sugar really compromises the immune system function but if you want to prevent the flu during the winter time, vitamin D. I personally take about 4,000 units of vitamin D every day. Vitamin D helps calcium to be absorbed from the intestine into the blood. Calcium glues cell membranes together. Four to 6,000 units of vitamin D every day would be very beneficial. Also iodine. You can take up to 12 milligrams of iodine daily. That also is very helpful for a strong immune system but please watch the sugar content, okay? Don't get a flu shot. GE, uh, genetically engineered salmon. Genetically engineered salmon is really an issue. Any time that anything is genetically altered, it impacts the cells in our bodies. So the article goes on to say that this small company in Canada is saying that the, there's a small risk of the female salmon in Panama escaping and getting into the wild. But when you read the whole article, they have eggs that they're also going to be selling and only 95% of these eggs are genetically not able to reproduce. But 5% of those eggs can actually grow to be full-blown salmon. You know, I watch the news throughout the United States. There are different fishes from different cultures that have definitely altered the streams in America. Now, they said Trader Joe's, Whole Foods and some other larger market chains are not going to buy this genetically engineered fish, but it's up to you, the consumer. We need to stop this genetically altered um, animal tissue, plant tissue that's entering into the mainstream food ecosystem. Really need to read this article. Say new, no to the flu shot. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor.